Welcome back to D-Rock Garage. I am proud to say we got another project on our hands. Here is a 2003 Honda Civic LX. Today we're going to start diving into her. her. We have a problem of the engine. It has a warped head so we, we are, have decided to do is pull the whole engine out of it and just replace the whole engine. Obviously keep the same transmission most likely. But yeah, we're going to start diving into her and start tearing it apart. Uh. And if you guys haven't yet, smash that subscribe button right there on the side or on the bottom. Hit the little bell so you guys get notifications of other posts that we do. As you guys know, we've got a ton of builds. This crazy 2016 Silverado uh, custom made. The Honda Civic. Uh, the new one that just came in. The ILX, the transmission that we swapped. If you haven't seen any of these videos, there will be a link down in the description to my channel and all the videos posted down below. So let's get right into it. Here she is in her prime. It's a lot less things that it looks like that we will have to actually take off in this Honda compared to the 2013 Acura ILX over there. So uh, here it looks like there's going to be quite a bit of clearance. Already got some of the top fit air filter off, stuff like that. Here it looks like it's plenty. Should be able to go straight up couple of uh, hoses over here wires cables all that stuff I'm gonna start removing so yeah we should be able to bring her straight up I don't know about that right there the bottom I believe that's the bottom of the transmission or the op top of the transmission if you're looking from the top over here so uh, I don't know how much it'll have clearance with the right here with that dash but uh, we're gonna do our best but I'm gonna start tearing her into and uh, see what we can do what kind of progress we can have today and i'll slowly update you guys quick update guys so what i've decided because i was looking here all these cables and stuff i was gonna just remove all the cables from here and just go ahead and lift the whole harness with all the wiring and cables on the motor itself because i mean i would have to remove everything all the fuel rails i mean everything you can think of but I saw that one big uh, cable went in here, that was the main power to the PCU, so went inside here and uh, right here, as you guys can see, started unplugging right here. These are the main cables that go as that fat one right there, it's a whole one piece, connects to that right there, that ECU. So I'm going to go ahead and just feed them out through there because I was wanting to remove all the wires first. But I figured that would be, take a lot much longer, a lot more time. So, figured out that you can do it through here. It's really nice. And uh, here's a really cool uh, filter cleaning uh, tip. You pop this open right here. There's a couple filters right here that you can clean. You just pull straight out. Look at that. Bam. And the one, there's another one right there next to it. That's that little tab right there for it. You just go to the side and pull it out. So quick little tip if you guys uh, didn't know that be able to clean your air filters if it's blowing a little rough but yeah unplug all these I took a ton of pictures make sure I will be able to connect them all back in the same spot and uh, so yeah now I'll be able to actually start removing that cable straight from there and lay that harness harness on top of this engine and be able to take the whole engine everything straight out and uh, put all the wires onto the donor Here is that same cable that comes from underneath the car that we had to remove on the Acura. And uh, the reason it took us forever to take off that uh, transmission was because this thing was still attached. So there's a bolt right here, 10 millimeter. A bolt right up here that you gotta remove, and then the whole assembly comes right off.
right, so this is the progress that we have right now. Engine is ready to come out and got the engine's mouse off. As you guys can see, no help today. You know, sometimes you gotta do everything by yourself. And uh, you know, sometimes help is not around, but hey, don't give up from a challenge. So this is what we got. Got an engine mount right here that is on the front. Sits all the way in the front right there. That you gotta take off, it's two bolts. This uh, transmission mount sits right here on top of the transmission. Top here holds that and then holds it right here. And then of course on the other side, that engine mount. We got one, re one piece right here, connects with this bolt and the two engine mounts right there on top. So now since I've disconnected everything, the only thing that is still connected is this reservoir, power steam reservoir. And so that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna slowly lift it off because it does have a little bit of uh, fluid in it. I try to drain it as much as I can, but it's still dripping a little bit. And so engine mount also all the way in the back of the transmission, of course, gonna make sure you take that off. And uh, handbrake for the transmission itself that is underneath the car that I showed before. Gotta com completely take that out. And now I have cut hold held all this uh, wire harness all on top of the transmission and the engine. So make sure it's clearing everything. Now we're gonna try to go ahead and start removing it. And uh, you know, since I don't have any help today, you know, it may be a little bit tough to be able to see, you know, all the different angles where if the engine or the transmission is hitting on whatever size. But I'm trying my best. I'm gonna slowly raise it, do my best and see what we can do. Hopefully uh, we can get it out by today because uh, I'm not getting any help today. So hopefully I don't have to wait for tomorrow because that's gonna be terrible. I don't really don't wanna leave it out like this. Um, until the next day, so let's get it going. As you guys can see, she is fully out. There we go. Do a quick rock around. Got some uh, transmission filling up over there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 
so pumped. She's all out, all by myself. That's a huge success for me. I really love it. Finally pull her out, just a little bit of work. Wasn't too much. After you get the engine mounts and stuff like that, and like this little piece, this little bracket was holding it over here on the side, was, was not like giving that extra clearance that we needed. Same with this uh, fuse box. Uh, but everything else came out really nice. I also removed this little piece that uh, sits right there on the top, right here. This little triangle but uh yeah it was just rubbing against this right here which uh, most likely it'll get a uh, change because uh it's pretty ripped up but hey engine is off i'm so so happy this is an exciting moment um uh, gonna go ahead and start uh getting her out of there lowering her down on a crate over there that's gonna be a dolly i'm gonna move it around put it down on it just uh make it nice and safe and uh so pumped hopefully tomorrow which will be a wednesday I'm supposed to be able to go to bahanas and pick up the new engine and uh slowly do the swap so it's gonna be pretty crazy can't wait let's uh keep going uh and uh next clip will probably be uh of me uh putting that new uh engine on doing a small review and uh getting it picked up so yeah this is awesome huge progress even though you guys are by yourself sometimes you know you just got to put your mind to it and you know just take it just take your time you know you don't have to work so fast but I want to make sure you don't strip anything. You want to make sure you do everything right. Remember where everything goes. I didn't take a lot of pictures. Maybe a little bit only in the inside where the CDI box was. Just to remember where everything went in there for the electrical side. But everything on here, I pretty much understood, figured out, and remembered. So yeah, let's get this thing down to safety and uh, wrap this day up. <laughs> came home so they were able to help me push it into the garage but yeah hopefully next one we're gonna have uh, the new engine which is supposed to be coming in tomorrow as we said hopefully we get that phone call and then uh, slowly get the uh, uh, transmission swap onto that engine uh, but yeah appreciate you guys watching
and uh, let us know we have a new project coming up we want your feedback and your what you think we have offered to put an engine in 4.0 into a Mustang we haven't agreed to it but the question is would you want to see us do it or not yeah Leave a comment below we've never okay. done something like that I believe it's a lot more complicated all around so it won't be as easy as pulling something out like this where you can just lift it up from the top we might have to drop the whole subframe it's gonna be a lot more work so we're gonna have to see but yeah appreciate you guys watching smash that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you guys get notifications when we do new posts appreciate you guys peace Oh. Uh.